Hello everyone, it's me Carlos and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to try and finish one of my last paintings, my self-portrait. I started this during the pandemic last year and it was the start of the pandemic and yeah, I, I was inspired, I was live on Instagram and I started painting this. But the problem is, right after that I had the massive just this massive artist block and I could not finish it. So today I'm going to finish it in a way that will help me develop my technique and also maybe make me get out of this artist block really. So I will paint this in a style inspired by Van Gogh. So I will not try to blend anything and I will actually use uh, different colors, different shades um, and different, different hues all over the face to try and give that 3D effect and that kind of lifelike effect but still with that Van Gogh aspect to it that you can see the brush strokes. So if you want to see how this goes and watch my process and see how I mix colors and how I think when I'm painting, stay in the video. So hello again, so now we are going to start. First of all I'm going to prime my surface with some oil, uh, with some linseed oil. Just drop a little this whole thing. Then I'm going to prime my surface. We do this to make the canvas more receiving to the oil paint and the paint will also flow much better on an oiled surface. The colours I'm going to be using are Titanium White, Cadmium Yellow, Cobalt Blue, Sap Green, Burnt Amber and Cadmium Red. Okay, so here, here are some of the mixtures I've already made. I always like to premix some of my colors, I, but I don't have to use as much. Uh, I'm not great at mixing, so here I have some warm skin tones, some neutral ones. These ones are more based on yellow. I might actually mix some cold skin tones for shadows or um, other aspects that I might want to add. Again, I'm not a pro, so don't take this as a rule. I'm going to start with the eyes. So, I will start with this color in the inner eye. Then I will switch brushes and use a different brush for a different shade. Sometimes I also like to use pure titanium white for the light parts and that way I can actually blend some of the things that I don't like. I will use some pure burnt umber. This part is actually a bit dark. Now I'm going to add more green, maybe I will actually mix some blue and yellow. Let's just darken everything up with a bit of burnt amber, maybe more blue.
This time, this time I will start with some pure titanium white. Now I will add some of this dark tone to the under eye, right there. Now some green. Some of this. Some green. I always like to add some pure red right here. And then I go in with some titanium white because sometimes I mix things in the actual painting. Don't ask me why, I have no idea why I do that. I just do it. Now it's time for my eyelashes, which are quite long actually. So this will be interesting. So now I'm going to do my eyebrow. So I've already gotten some green there and I'm going to use pure burnt amber as well. Not really caring about detail. And some white. Now I'm going to add some pure titanium white to the underbrow. Now I'm just using pure pigments just giving the indications I want, where I want them. Dark colors, I, I'm using reds and greens. For light colors, I'm using titanium white and some of the colors I already mixed. So I am looking at the reference picture as well as some pictures from um, past Van Gogh works and I think it, I, I should add more green right around here and right around this side because it's much darker as well. So that's what I think I am going to do, so let's try. So now we will move over to the other eye, just to make sure we don't overdo this one. What I've learned from the other eye is that I shouldn't be trying to use skin tones as much as, as I've been using, because Van Gogh didn't really use skin tones in the picture I'm looking at. He usually uh, achieved that effect with mainly pure colors. So that's something I'm going to try in this side of the face as well. I'm going to use bold colors, pure colors as well.
Okay, so here I have to make this part a bit darker and then it goes to lighter. I think I will add some greens here a little bit and then I will go lighter. And here I will just add a bunch of titanium white and here. It's also a bit darker because of the hair. That's how I reuse some colors that I used here. Here. Okay, we are in the on the lip, so I am actually using a different shade of red, and it's a bit, I'd say colder, and maybe it's it has a bit of blue in it. It's a diff, it, it's it kind of looks darker, so that's the color I am going for the top lip, and I will also add some whites and some uh, burnt amber as well to make sure it really is three dimensional. Okay, now we have the head situation, the, the full head. So what I'm thinking here is this part has to match this part because they are kind of in the same values. Then this part is literally the lightest part of the face and it's kind of like as light as this. So you kind of have to make this feel like it's the same color as this when seen from a distance. So I'm not sure how to do it yet, but I will try to figure it out as I go. So again, <laughs> now I'm filling this with light colors, so I start with yellows and then I go around with light blues and light reds. I now started mis mixing some white in the colors because I really like this contrast of colors. So I just drew my jacket, that way I can know how it's going to look. 
kind of. So I'm going to start on the neck and this is going to be quite straightforward really. So around here it's going to be much darker than my face, about this dark. And then it grows lighter because that's how it is in the photo and here is also, it is also lighter but I think I will actually make it darker and right around here it's also going to be darker so yeah I will just use the same techniques I used around the face and do it here the hair I am blonde but I think I will focus more on reds and burnt umber and then I will just use some yellow in between to make it look a little a little blonder uh, because my roots are actually darker in this picture so uh, I think that will work quite all right Now we are going to move to the jacket and I will actually do a blue jacket. Okay, I just finished the jacket, now I will move on to the shirt. I'm going to use red and pink to go with my lips, because the blues and greens kind of go with this side of the face. And if I use reds and pinks here, I think it will just unify everything. Okay, now it's the background. I think I will paint it plain black and then see how it looks. The thing is, if I paint it black, I will not be able to change it. But I think if I paint it black, all of the colors here will look so much more intense. Okay, now you, as you can see, we kind of lost some of the hair um, texture because of the black background, but that's easily fixable. We just draw in new hairs. So, for example, like that. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to retouch the eyes. I basically will not change anything about them. I will just make this one a bit, a bit bigger because I kind of lost a bit of eye there. And just, you know, add some texture because um, they are flat. Otherwise I would, I would just let them like that, but I won't. And maybe I will also retouch a 
bit the eyebrows. Hi again. Finally, I finished the painting. It was so hard, so many things that needed to look right when looking from a distance and looking up at close. Oh my gosh, this was one of the hardest painting paintings I've ever done because I believe it's my first original painting. And for a first original painting, I am extremely pleased with it. I love the placement of color. I love the shades. I love how the colors look next to each other. I love how I put red in here and then that emphasized the blue and greens here, which emphasized the yellows. I mean, everything is just working perfectly in this painting, really. I just love it, love it, love it. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for uh, being here with me and <laughs> giving me company during this uh, painting session. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to give me some tips on how can I improve my future paintings, which will most likely be in this style because I am in love now, uh, please leave them down below and don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye!